Calvin Johnson said that he did not want to sign any new players, citing that, well, I have players already, so KZ Chiefs have gone ahead and actually extended contracts for not one, not two, but three players. And as usual, I have thoughts. Hello and welcome to Coast Nation Fan TV. I am Pelo, I am your host, and this, this is where fans meet and talk about KZ Chiefs. I'm a football club, starting with U Brendan Peterson who's been given a contract extension as well, got two years, just like the other two guys as well. And I made a video earlier on in the year, in January, where I was talking about what I actually thought about Brendan Peterson extending his contract. Because currently Chiefs has Brendan Peterson as number two goalkeeper, number one being Vuma, and Kune retiring at the end of the season or leaving Chiefs. I don't know how it's going to end. But the point is, to me, it seems like with Brendan Peterson, he's gone to the area with the fans where there's been too much beef and too much bad blood and a lot of fans feel like, ah, ngege, well, where we are because of Brendan Peterson. Now, this is not me saying he sucks. People make mistakes. But what I am saying is, I am just wondering, Uguti, how is he now going to manage to cope being number two to Bruce Vuma? And knowing very well that whenever he gets minutes, he's not going to be liked, right? Because it's not fair to any player, Uguti, you are playing and you are getting booed. Ne? And I feel like for the sake of your peace and your mind, it's better to just leave. However, at the same time, someone will say, the thing, Pelo, is you must remember that in South African football, you'd rather sit in the bench at Kaiser Chiefs and get 70000 per month than go to another team and have your salary not paid for three weeks and then you for three months and then you end up being suspended. So I get where this might be coming from from a financial standpoint. And also he knows that Kevin Johnson gives opportunities to players. So he knows very well that him staying actually also means that he can still fight for his place. And his fingers are crossed that we are qualifying for the Kev Champions League. And that means there will be a lot of matches that will be playing and then they might end up both getting game time. And that's exactly when he needs to prove and show everyone that he's actually a good goalkeeper. So to me, I think for him, I can see where he's coming from. But at the same time, I think that I wouldn't have blamed him if he hadn't renewed his contract. So it kind of does make sense from his side. I don't know how it's going to work if he doesn't get game time. But then again, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. The second player whose contract was renewed is obviously Uprosib Vuma. Nae contract here get two years, option to extend. All these three players that we're talking about, their contracts were due to expire this coming June. And now Uprosib Vuma, he has started playing well again. Well, not playing well again, but playing again because he wasn't playing for the longest time. So now he's playing again and he's done well in the minutes that he's been given so far. So I think that that's the contract renewal that makes, well, sense, right? It makes a lot of sense because KZ Chiefs, if they were to go out and look for a goalkeeper, this goalkeeper in Nigeria who was linked with the Chiefs, Unwabali, right now he's too expensive because... Look at what he's been doing at AFCON, obviously, and saving him a penalty against Bafana Bafana. By the way, while I'm here, shout out to Bafana Bafana. They made us proud. But just on, on, on the goalkeeper situation, then you look at everyone else who is a goalkeeper the Chiefs can sign. It's tricky, ne? Because the only other person that they could go out after and sign is Ricardo Koswe with Super Sports United. But I think he's going to renew his contract at Supersport. Well, not renew, but sign a new contract because he was on loan on, from Sundowns. And now that loan's going to end. But then he's also ending his contract with Sundowns in a way. So I don't think he'll be going to Sundowns. I think that he will be staying at Supersport because then his Supersport is already playing in Africa. And I don't think they are paying him like, like less, less money. I think they're paying him decently enough for him to say... Game time, level of football I'm playing at, plus Ugutige, yeah, I, I love being here and I'm used to the environment. So I think that makes sense for from his side. So I don't think Chiefs has any options of goalkeepers that they can go after. So yeah, it makes sense to me that they've extended the contract, Kapros Vuma as well. And the other player who's, who I think 
I looked and watched Bafana Bafana yesterday or during this whole tournament and said, you know what? I appreciate what Bafana Bafana did, all the efforts, all the fighting, playing their hearts out. I am proud. And by the way, I will tell you now, if you are in the comment section and you are happy that Bafana Bafana lost, I cannot take you serious. I will not entertain you because that means you do not understand the difference between national team and domestic teams. Like Barcelona had like seven players in the squad that won the World Cup in 2010. But you did not see people who are from Madrid in Spain saying, oh no, Tina, we are Real Madrid supporters, so we're not going to be happy that Spain won a World Cup with seven Barcelona players in the starting level. No, no one cared. Nobody cared because they understand that there is the country and there is your team. And that is the thing that I think sometimes we just need to throw out there because at the end of the day, Natik Mele's school is in doesn't sense because there's a lot going on in South Africa. Species, accuse Abanyabant about white people and you say they are racist and all of this. But Gwawena, as a black person, you don't even like your country. So how is anyone else going to think when you are united in your own country, if you are own, hating your own countrymen? It doesn't make sense, guys. I just had to voice that out because I'm a South African and I know how it's like to be in a foreign country and see Uguti, wow. You know, if I was home, I would be eating it up. I, Indonesia, the entire nine months without eating pap, without being around my family, people who speak my language. And then I understood, you know what? I already loved my country, but being away from South Africa made me appreciate being in the country. So for me to say I'm going to hate on people who are representing me, because everything that is done by Bafana Bafana reflects me. Uguti about Lalbe Sundowns, no one actually cares. Like, if, if you, you, you look at these things and you zoom in, then you zoom in king. Anyways, going back to Kosing Pilengob, I look at the Bafana Bafana squad and I see Uguti, who Temba Zwani makes Bafana Bafana tick. But the man is turning 35 next month. And you look at everyone else who was in that squad, who can do that? No one. No one. People will say Jaden Adams could have tried. The problem is, would you have thrown... Jaden Adams under so much pressure in, a, in such a hostile environment and expect him to shine. And people are going to say, oh, but other countries do this. But after giving those players minutes before, the crisis that we have had under Bafana Bafana is the fact that we are lacking a number 10, which is the same problem that Chiefs are struggling with to a point where Upruz ended up bringing back Utemba Zwan to Bafana Bafana. And now we're going to need Umshini to rise up and fill that spot. And now with his contract and his future being secured with Chiefs, it is time to not sit down and just relax and say, I have a contract with Chiefs. But the 2026 World Cup when his contract expires with Chiefs, well, he also has an option to extend. It's around the corner. The 2025 AFCON is next year because the, 20, the AFCON that we're playing now was supposed to be played last year. So the next AFCON is playing in 2025 and Umshini must be there. Umshini must be there because if Uzwane somehow makes it, Umshini must also be there because he will be one with experience. He will also be the one who can make the team play, who can come up with magical things. Because even if Umshini is still playing well enough, he will not play 90 minutes. We saw it in this past AFCON. You will play him 60 minutes, bring on Umshini, or Umshini can start. Whichever way, but in South Africa in general, we need more creative players because we don't have. So I'm happy that Umshin has been given this contract and I hope that this might say to him, I'm still valuable to the biggest club in South African football and I can actually add value. Hopefully they watch how Bafana Bafana fought and they are going to go out starting with Tess Galax next week and do the same thing that Bafana Bafana has been doing because I am proud of the team. Some people might have not enjoyed certain parts, but I will always say this. Bafana Bafana made us proud and it's time for the next generation, Abu Mshini. They are the generation. They're not even the next generation. Home to the next generation. Well, they are the current generation as well. My point being, Kaiser Chiefs have done a good job in securing these guys' contracts because the last thing we wanted is for them to lose them on a free. Actually, I was supposed to connect Bafana Bafana with this video, but I realized while I was recording that, hey, talk about Bafana Bafana. Anyways... What do you think about these new contract extensions? And do you actually think that 
KZ Chiefs will still go out in the June transfer window and find a goalkeeper because that's one of the things that people have been saying. I ah, know Chiefs must find someone to replace Ukone. I don't think so, but you might think different. Do let me know down in the comment section below. Also, Swiss Atlantis contract has not been renewed. Dover's contract has not been renewed and both of their contracts are expiring in June. Should Kaiser Chiefs renew their contracts? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, remember, equals Alpelumoy.